Happy time zone everyone and welcome. I am Panda Pops and I like to bring you blockchain gaming and crypto related content. In today's video we are going to be covering the Sandbox's software Vox Edit. I did make a video a little while ago now that was talking about the tutorial series that I'm going to be making. This is going to be the first actual episode in that series where i'll be doing the basics on the modeler side but if you would like to know what is going to be in the whole tutorial series then check out that video it will be in the description down below and i do apologize for anybody that has been waiting on this video it has been delayed and pushed back for a few weeks now but it's here and we will have the rest of them being uploaded on a more regular schedule as well. So we are now in Vox Edit. When you download Vox Edit, make sure uh, for the download file that you extract all because the file will be zipped. So you need to click extract all for that. We're going to be getting into this. So we're going to be concentrating on the modeler side of things. So what we are building in this is we are going to be doing a type of medieval toilet for the tavern that we're making and it's going to have an animation with it. So we're going to click create new asset. So we've got this ready to make our toilets. Now I've got a palette that is already ready for me to use. You guys can make your own and up. Right, so to start with, um, everything automatically starts as a meter cubed, um, a meter squared cube, which is 32 by 32 by 32, and they are classed as your meter blocks. The average human in the game is two meters high. You can get a rough idea of height wise for everything here. Up here, this is where we change the sizes, and I already know the size of what I'm making going to choose our base color so for a medieval toilet we're going stone base right here so what i'm doing here is on this side we've got the create mode so this creates our voxels then we've got a few different options what we can do so we've got the pen tool so you can sort of draw it on up here i like to do nice edges so that will show you where your edges are this will show you each individual voxel this will show you uh, quad edges. Um, I never use that. I very rarely use the individual voxel ones. I always use this and then switch to that. Then we've got the line tool. So if you need to make something straight going across or maybe you, know, you want to zigzag it going like that. My favorite one is the box tool. So you just click and you drag. You can do single ones like that. Next one is the face tool. So the face tool is each one of these sides is a face so you can click and pull out. Another good thing is if you choose a different color, it will do on that. Pull those faces out. And if we want to delete, so we've got our erase tool right here. If we want to delete, uh, it goes off of that color of the face. So even though that's all on the same part, it'll only do that color. And it works the same for the paint mode. So if we only want this, this face painted, we click there and it'll only paint that face. Uh, the next tool is the flood tool. So that will just fill, fill the entire space with that color. If we wanted to do the paint tool, it will fill everything that you're touching. We've got our eyedropper. So if you're building something and you're like, oh, I like that color, but I can't remember where it was over here. Just eyedrop, grab it, and now, now, now you've got it. And then the next bit is the pivot tool. That is very, very handy for, um, you need to make sure that it's centered at the bottom. The only time that you don't perfectly center it, so you can right click, set to floor which will center it perfectly if you want to manually do it hold shift it will pull it every um, 0.5 you want it placed on the bottom and you usually want it centered right in the middle because when it goes over into the animator uh, you want that centered it goes into the game when you rotate it in the game 
it's uh being rotated from the center point rather from like a weird edge there'll be a few things that you won't be uh centering in the middle but things like paintings and stuff you will center at at the back you'll still want it dead center in the middle you will want this one right at the back and at the base and this one up here select we can actually just select that whole piece and pull it up it will move it about if we do um for the erase tool you can obviously flood erase everything of that color you can just face but let's select our brickwork um so what we're building up here is our toilet so we're getting the stone part we're gonna have a wooden top on it as well and we're gonna go for uh, i'm not going to be making anything like too too complicated i wanted to make something nice and simple for you guys where you could perhaps follow along and understand sort of like the basics of it so now I'm going to do the paint mode. Um, a few things up here that I didn't uh, comment on. So we can do mirror. Now, because we filled up the whole space, let me just delete a little bit. So we can actually see the mirror tool right there. So if we go to paint something on here, I'm just going that back up. We're going to do a little paint. It does it on the opposite side. So what we're going to want to do on this bit is we want the wood up here or at least to make it look like it's a little bit messy so i'm actually going to pick the pen tool i feel like the pen tool is probably oh and we also don't want it to match either side here I want it to look a little bit different so to make it look a little messy as if you know something's gone on on here that and we're going to vary some of the colors as well we're going to add some of this have it a little bit down there it's there we can even go just like a few shades lighter as well now it looks a little bit messy there a little bit of mess going on And what we're going to do next is to make this look a little bit more like there's brick going on. So we're going to select the base color that we're using. And I'm going to go for a shade bigger. Now, obviously, it's up to you whether you want to do really, really detailed things. Or if you're looking to maybe look into getting into the creator fund. This generally is the kind of style that they look for where it's a bit more simplistic so instead of making things uh let me just grab this so instead of you know doing like brickwork like this it's going down the side where there's a lot going on we're just going to keep it fairly fairly simple so what i'm gonna do is just dotted around here I've just realized that this arrow points to where the front of the item is and this is actually the back so this is a good example of what I can show you so we're going to want to rotate it no nope. now we've got the front so that will rotate it turn entire object 90 degrees around the y axis right and then from here we're going to go one more up for a little bit and then we're going to go a shade lighter 
add a few separate. Right, and then what we're going to do on here is get this one, go a couple of shades lighter, and we're going to just add little details on it. Now, what I do want to do as well, just as like a little additional thing, is right in this corner, I'm going to end up getting rid of this, but I'm going to put a little spider web. You don't need to put a spider web, but it's one of those nice little extras. So once again, I'm going to use the pen tool and I'm just going to go up to the corner and down to this corner. A lot of this is going to get changed. That'll just be one of those just little added details that you can put in. So we've actually just made this model. Right, what we need next is a bucket. Right, and I do know the dimensions because we're basically using the same bucket I've already made. Fill in the entire thing in. And then what I need to do is I need to push that in on. Take the mirror tool off. need to make a hole in the center so that's what we're doing that looks good right we need to push this down oh use our face tool and we're going to push this hole down and we need to reduce this height by two for the handles to go on that looks good we're just going to recolor the inside be gray we're also going to do like a gray around the edges Using the mirroring tool is very handy to make sure you get everything going correctly on both sides. I'm going to go back to our create tool. So we're creating models one, a brassy bronzy color. I'm going to go come here and then we're going to go out one. And we're going to want sort of like a metal handle. This come down. So now it's got sort of like that bucket look on it. We, oh, this is what I didn't mention in the other video. So because I knew exactly the dimension I, I was using, I put those in up here. Uh, but when you start, let's say uh, you've pro you'll probably give yourself some extra room and you'll finish and you'll, you won't have filled in, in this entire space. What you need to do is click trim volume so it shrinks the bounding box to fit the voxels that goes from the widest part to the widest part uh essentially this is putting like an invisible box around that item so when you're building certain things you need to be a little bit careful of making sure those trim volumes are done because if you leave it really large and you pull it in the game and somebody walks up next to it and it's still got that large box there's going to be like an invisible wall that they can't get near to this now i am going to just give you a little sneak peek of moving things over to the animator um and i will quickly show you the the water as well so let me just i'll open up the water this is just one voxel high and i've made it to fit that exact inside uh, place of the bucket. So this is actually going to sit inside of the bucket and there's going to be another water element, which I'll find you uh, in a moment. But when you pour the bucket, that water will come out and because the bucket is tilted, um, this water will slowly go in and when the animation finishes, the water will have disappeared from the bucket this one as well which is like a lump one so it's going to look like some a little bits are pouring out and some big bits are pouring out um to really give it that that look of water coming <laughs> coming out of a bucket 
But yeah, that is that on the model if model side of things. If you have any questions, do let me know. The we've done the bucket. We've already got the water ready, so we don't have to worry about that. The next episode will be me moving things over to the animator and showing you how to rig them up and animate them into a little animation and how all of that fun stuff goes. So that should be out in a week and a half for that video so stay tuned for that i uh, hope you enjoyed this leave a comment subscribe like if there is anything else you would like me to cover please let me know because i will watch some of my other videos check those out and as always have a good morning afternoon evening goodbye